Welcome back to another video. And today we're doing the login name lab. So for this lab, we're gonna have two cases. We're gonna ask the user to enter their first name, which would be Michael, their last name, which would be Jordan, and then a four digit number from like a year. And if like the last name is less than five characters, we have to hold, we have to use like the whole like last name as the login name. For example, Jordan is more than five characters, gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So we're only doing um, the first character all the way to the fifth. So it would be Jord. And then we're doing the first, um, like the first initial of the first name, which would be M, followed by like the last like two characters of the, of like the, not two characters, but the last two numbers of the year. So in this case, it would be all the way up to the fifth character of Jordan, which would be Jord. First initial of Michael, which would be M, followed by the last two characters. And then for case two, uh, case two is if it's like uh, the last name is not five letters, we just have to print like the whole last name, which would be West, Kanye West. And then for Kanye, we just want the first initial, which would be the K, followed by the last two digits of the year they entered. So first, we need a scanner object to get user input. We we'll do scanner, SCNR, we we'll go to new scanner, system.in. So I already have java.util.scanner imported, but if you don't, you will just get an error and you can hover over it and then you would import it. So we have that. Now we could use that scanner to actually like ask for user input. So we could do string first equal to scanner dot next. Here we're asking the user for the first name and we're not doing the next line because we want all the inputs to be on one line. So we have string first, which would be the first name. String last equals to scanner dot next. That would just be the last name. And then we could do int, because it has to be like a year. Int um, int year equals to scanner dot next int okay so we have all our user input now we need to actually have like a like a string variable to hold everything we'll just call it login name and then we'll set that equal to an empty string for now okay so now what we actually have to do we just actually have to like modify everything first we have to check if the like the last name has like five letters or not so we could say if last dot length so remember last is a, is a string variable so it has a length method if last dot length we could say greater than five we could use the whole last name and more and the way we use that we could do the we could use the substring method so first we're going to set login name equal to last dot substring so substring, it pretty much gets a string and it chops it where you want it to. So you give it like a range. So it's a string starts at zero, from zero to five. For example, um, Jordan, we start at zero, which would be the J, and then we stop until we get to the fifth character. So it would be zero, one, two, three, no, no, it would be one, two, three, four, five. So it would be Jordan, uh, which would be uh, characters one through five. So that's just like that's if like the length of this of the last name is greater than five, but if it's not greater than five, they want us to use like the whole last name in the login name. So for example, for Kanye West, West is four, so we just have to use the whole name. So we could say else, and we don't have to do else if we could just do else because if this is not like this code is not executed, it's just gonna skip over. If not, we could do login login name equal to the last name because we're assuming it's we know it's shorter than five so we have that and then we just have to pretty much format it so we have the last name we just have to format the first initial followed by the number so we could do login name equal to itself because we already have the last name stored in login name plus we need the first um the first initial it doesn't matter if it's a greater than five or less than five because we already already figured that out in this chunk of code so now we need the first initial 
So what we could do that we could say first dot char at so char at it gets a character at whatever like index you tell it to. If we do char at zero, we're looking at the first name, which in this case would be it would be Michael. We're looking we try to get the M. So it would be char at zero. Plus, and then it's asking us to get like the last two digits of the year. There's a really cool trick we could use. We could do year, and we do the modulus 100. So what this does, it gets, so we're looking at the year and then modulus is by 100, which would only give us the last two digits. So we have that. And then pretty much done, we could just print it out. We'll, we'll do both cases. We could do, but it wants us to put your login name, so let's actually do that. So it matches the output. We'll do your login name and a period, not a period, a space, plus the login name variable, which we formatted. And then we're done. Well, we just got to run the test cases. All right, so let's see. Let's enter Michael Jordan 1991. Your login name is Jordan, which is the first five. You one, two, three, four, five. Followed by the first initial, which would be the M. And then followed by the year, but the last two digits of the year, which would be 91. Or let's do it for Kanye West, 2024. Do that. Your login name is B. It's going to be West, which is his first, uh, which is his last name, but it doesn't have five digits. So we use the whole thing by his first initial, which would be K for Kanye. And then the year we picked. It looks like it's working. Let me see if I can put all the code up on screen. There it is. If this helped you in any way, just leave a like and subscribe.